In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your GoDaddy domain to Infinity Free. So here's what you need to do. So first, if you haven't already, register for a free account on Infinity Free. I'm going to log into my account and here you can see I've created some different websites. Now, what you need to do if you're on the free plan or if you're on any plan, check that you have an available active account. You can then go ahead and create your account. Now, what you do in here, you're going to choose the free version. Again, if that's what you're using, you can choose any of these as well. Once you do that, it's going to ask you for a custom domain. This is where you paste in the domain that you've got off GoDaddy. So go to GoDaddy and log in. I'm going to go to my profile icon, then go my products. And then once you're in my products, you can find your domain. So if your domain isn't here, you can go to my account, then click domains. And from here, you see all of the domains you own. I will use this one here, searchablehowto.com. So go ahead and click on the domain that you want to use. From here, you need to go ahead and first copy the domain and I will just paste it into the box here under your domain name. Now you need to connect the name servers. So to do that, go ahead and copy the first name server, which will be ns1.infinityfree.com. Then go ahead and go to your domain. From here, go to the DNS and then here in the DNS, go to name servers. Once you're in name servers, you need to change name servers. By default, it will be on the GoDaddy name servers. You can change it from GoDaddy to the Infinity Free ones. So paste in the first Infinity Free name server here, then go and copy the second one here and paste the second one in here. Once you've done that, click save. It will edit the name servers and update those. Once you've done that, you then need to go ahead and check availability here. That will then check that your domain is available. Now, in my case, the domain is already in use on Infinity Free. So I'm going to change the name servers for a different domain here, searchbasemethod.com. So now we've updated those name servers, we can go back and check the availability again. And this time it should say that it's available. Now, what you can do from here, you can give your account a label or you can just leave it on default. What I would do though is change the password here. Make sure you remember this password because it will be used to log into your account and then go ahead and approve email consent, then create your account. Now, once you've done that, it will then take you to the next window where you can go ahead and open the control panel and install WordPress. You can also go ahead and finish if you want to and it will take you to this window where it will give you updates on your website. You can see it is setting up. Now, it can take between 20 minutes and up to 48 hours for your domain to link to Infinity Free. So right now, it isn't working. In the meantime, though, you can go to your control panel and you can agree to this. Now from here, you can go ahead and install WordPress to do that. Scroll down to this apps installer, click on that. And then from here, you can go ahead and install WordPress, but I'll create a new video showing you how to do that. Just be patient though about your domain linking. As you can see here, it can take up to 72 hours. So do be patient, but that's how to do it. I hope that helped you out.